acrylic basics for beginners. So the first thing you're gonna need is a canvas. You can buy pre-primed canvases or you can prime it yourself. You just take some gesso, I like Liquitex Basics gesso, several layers, three or so, nice and smooth, let it dry completely and then sand it down. You can get it as smooth as you want this way. And you're also going to want a fine mist sprayer. Absolutely essential in painting with acrylics. Acrylics dry very quickly and this makes it so that you can do wet into wet technique and keep the paint dry essentially for as long as you'd like. The mop brush, I use a blush brush because it sheds less, but this will smooth out any brush strokes that you have and give it a softer edge. You're going to want a palette and there are several different kinds or you can do it redneck style, which works just fine. You're also going to want water, not just for your fine mist sprayer, but also to clean your brushes and to wet your brush because I, I dilute my paint almost always. I take it and I dip my brush in water, dab it on the, the paper towel and mix it in until the paint is kind of a ink like consistency. That way when the, you actually make the brush stroke, it's really smooth. The lines on this butterfly would be almost impossible without diluting the paint so that you can get these fine lines without it giving you that grainy, gritty, textury look. If you're getting that and you don't want it, water down your paint a little bit, it will be a lot better. Just be careful that you don't water it too much because then you can have some trouble there too. And here I'm using some watered down paint to create like a glaze-like effect and I'm like blending it in with the other color. A lot of painting is manipulation of the paint. And here you're also, I use water for glazing as well. You can use a glazing medium, but I prefer to just use water. And it's basically diluting the paint enough that it is transparent so that when you go over it, you can still see the details through it. I do that same thing with um, shadows to create shadows. I'll do a little line of some thinned out paint and I'll manipulate it with another brush in order to create that shadowed effect. The mall stick is essential because I have to rest my hand on something and you do not want to rest your hand on the painting as it will leave smudges and you'll, you'll end up wrecking your painting and your hands. In order to get your values right, I recommend putting your painting or your reference photo in black and white and getting your values from there. You can see that the black and white are actually a lot darker and brighter than most of this photo. Crappy paints will not layer the way that you need them to, so you want to invest in good quality paint. I prefer Liquitex Basics because it's the best bang for your buck, fairly cheap, but still archival. Transferring your image, I recommend either projector or tracing and transfer paper, as you do not want to leave a bunch of drawing, eraser, weird marks all over your canvas, as it can show through your final work. So what I recommend doing is either using a projector with a white, white charcoal pencil or something like that, or using like I am here, the white transfer paper, tracing it with a stylus onto the canvas. You can see you can get pretty good detail with that. Limit the paint you put on your palette. So the biggest thing I see with beginners is they will put a ton of paint and they will waste most of it. Most beginners avoid the liner brush. Master the liner brush. It will make detail so much easier. You will appreciate it and you will get far finer detail than you will with any paint pen. And one big thing with beginners, don't get stuck as a beginner. Beginner paintings have their time and place, but some people just keep doing beginner paintings and then they never progress. If you're not at least a little bit intimidated by what you're doing, it's probably too easy for you. Nothing will teach you like experience. So the more you practice, the more you will learn. And I know I, I'm big. I love watching other people paint. So I spend a lot of time watching the videos, but nothing will teach you like experience. So although those are good and you will learn a lot from them, Practice, practice, practice.
nothing will beat that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe and make sure you leave in the comments anything else that you'd like to see. Thank you for watching.